Hey guys, how you doing? Um, <clears throat> well, we've got a bit of a gem here. <laughs> uh, this is a Briggs and Stratton Billy Goat. Uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, basically it's like a vacuum cleaner for your lawn. It hoovers stuff up and there's normally a bag on the back. Um, it doesn't run, I'll get into that in a second. Uh, it's not been run for a lot of years. It was given to me as a project. I've had it sitting in the garden for a while now. I thought we might get into it. Uh, it's a 1978. It's a three and a half horsepower. Um, Yeah, uh, it's got some work, some major work to do to it. I'll get you off the stand and, and show you. Okay, uh, for starters, we have no coil. Um, so I've got to try and rummage around in my spares, and hopefully, I've got one that'll fit. Uh, all the carb and everything to do with it is all jammed solid, everything's going to have to come off. Um, but for the meantime, I think I'm just going to try and establish some kind of spark. Um, but I think to begin with, what I'll do is take the wheels off, so we can kind of have this flat on the uh, on the workbench. So let's do that first. Okay, that's better. We can work on it a bit better now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's have a proper look around. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but. The fuel tank, yeah, I don't think you can see, is remarkably clean in there. So that's a good thing. So, before I get into this finding a new coil, etc., I'm going to start taking some bits off that need to be taken off anyway. So, the air filter, the car, the fuel tank, just so we can work around the engine a bit better. Because um, it's just going to be in our way anyway. So, yeah, let's start stripping it. Okay, let's get this air filter off. I don't know if it has one inside. Yeah, it does. Not bad condition, actually. Okay, so we've got, I think it's 12, 13 mil there, and some 10 mils there. Try that again, shall we? original plan was to fully restore this but life gets in the way and other things need to be done so for now what I want to do is hear this run Unhook the carb. Oh, it's actually got fuel in it. As you can see, everything's a bit jammed up, but if need mud, I'll clean up. It's probably protected it, to be honest. He's living in here. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm just going to give this a basic clean around, guys, just to blow some stuff off and, you know, see where we are. Okay, so we just had a quick clean up just so we know where we're looking at. Um, this, obviously being a 78 model, um, has got points uh, condenser in here uh, and here's the wire to the condenser I think uh, this is a killer wire um, 
Now, I might be able to eliminate that because going through some spares, I've found a later model with uh, electronic ignition. So we can do away with the coil and condenser, etc. And it fits. So if this works, we could be in biz. So uh, let me get set up. We'll get this on. Set the gap right. Spin it and see if we get a spark. Okay, let's... Uh, let's get this on here. See if we can get a spark out of this whole thing. I haven't actually tested the uh, coil, so I'm just hoping that it works. So, just tighten this down. Magnets, get a little business card. And do it. That snaps into place. Okay, let's get the uh, pulley back on, get a spark plug in there, see if we have a spark. Okay guys, so we're all hooked up now, uh, here's where we're looking for a spark, I'll turn the lights off, and we'll see if we get one. And we do! Woohoo! Okay, so the dilemma now is do we clean the carb and sort all that out and put it back on? Or do we some spray some stuff down there and see if it'll cough? <laughs> Let's do that. Let's um Put this in there. Uh, how about some um, easy start? Let's see what it does. <laughs> yes, my friend. Okay, guys, now that I've calmed down from a little bit of excitement, I do apologize, I get excited when things start running. Um, let's get to this and get this uh, so we can have it running on its own steam. 
Uh, I'm just going to spend a little time cleaning all this junk off first, guys. As you can see, it's caked in it. So I'll do that, and then I'll come back and we'll clean the car. Okay, there we go. Look, it's looking a lot better. Uh, you'll notice as, as you watch more and more of my videos, I do like to clean things up. Um, I prefer working on things when I ain't, you know, messing with or fighting with mud and stuff. Um, I just use some old fuel, that's what I do with all my old fuel, I put it in here. Little, little toothbrush. Give that back to the wife later. Um, okay, so let's get this carb off. But I must change the battery in this first because you're running out on me. Hold on. Okay, let's get in this little carb. I uh, got the ultrasonic cleaner on. It's heating up. Hopefully the uh, diaphragm and this will be okay. If not, I'll have to order another one. But quite often I get away with it. They're still sort of pliable. It's when they go stiff and brittle you have to change them. It's harder knock than that. Make sure all the screws are loose. Take them out. Where's me lucky hammer? some time since this was removed there we go and that still feels okay that's good news so I just need to get a blade carefully around this and then uh, we can clean it. delicate operation but once you've done it a few times you can you can save these little things they all need changing eventually but about having a bit of patience which I never used to have I'm learning with old age he says watch me split this right near the end <laughs>
Come on. Okay. I think I can do this to get the rest of us out. Or do I? I think I do. Let's get this off. Oops. part of the automatic choke there we go saved put that somewhere safe uh, can you take that ring out on the spring never seen that before on one of these calves it must have been when fuel and air was first, or one of the last, shall I say, you know, let's go in first and see what the setting is. We've got half, one, half, one and a half. Remember that, guys. One and a half. Good to go. Put this in the machine. So we'll put that in like that, and then I'll flip it over a couple of times during its cycle. Put that in there. Anything else? No, I think that's it. So we'll give that a 20 minute bath and we'll flip it over make sure all the jets and flutes and everything is done and then we'll come back all right let's have a little look at the soup Okay, cover your ears, give us a blowout. and half a pound of mud um, right put this back together okay so this needs to go in there that 
Oops. And this little guy. Uh, it goes on there. Which way does this go? It really matters. Look at that. Oh no, it does matter. Hang on. That way. A little screw. I bought these screws through the wire wheel just so they they work better for us. Let me put this back together guys and we'll put it on the tank. Alright, we're nearly there. And if nothing else, that's a good looking tank again. <laughs> on the machine shall we okay we're about ready guys let's put some fuel in we are about ready to fire this beast up Get you set up over here. Okay, I was going to dribble some in there to help it get going, but I'll just see how it goes. Let's see if we can, uh, if that will draw it up straight away. some fuel in in the carb and we'll give it another go. And we'll just throw some easy star in there if we can find it. Outside. 
Okay guys, I'm going to call that a win-win. we got this guy up and running again. Uh, needs an oil change and a, an overhaul just to make it all sweet. Uh, but I, I did what I wanted to do. So I uh, want to thank you guys for hanging out with me in the man cave. Get this old thing running again. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks.